All right, and Barry we trust. It's a little thin water getting out here. We are in the famous Blackwater Lynches up by Bishopville in Florence, South Carolina. Good and muddy. Doing something a little different, guys. The struggle is real, guys. Let's see what's wrong with John. Oh, you're wet? Oh, I flipped, yeah. Got all of our gear in the muddy water, and we're gonna paddle. First uh, pack rafting trip, is that what we're doing here? Barry's a big time uh, paddler, kayaker, I'm kind of along for the ride here, so we'll see how we do. We got some obstacles along the way, definitely gonna be some blow downs. It's like hitting the trail without the trail magic. We'll see how it goes here. Beautiful day though. Just looking to get out into the wilderness and have some fun. There we go guys. Just like I said, a little obstacle course today for you. An interesting one coming up. Let's see what we do. We're gonna try to Tokyo drift this one, guys. Peaceful out here. Nobody else in the water, just us and our paddles. Seeing a little bit of wildlife. It's really peaceful. Do the butt scoot? Well, I guess the butt scoot was a better option than the paddle. Yeah. Alright guys, that obstacle almost got us. There are limbs and trees all over this place, man. You really got to be careful. See a little ripple in the water above, and you got to steer around it, but it is peaceful, man. Old South Carolina River. The struggle is real, guys. All right, 10 points if I get it better than Barry.
don't think I get the 10 points, guys. I'm about the same as Barry. Whew. That one was a workout. first for me. Have you guys done paddling trips before? Um, definitely can see the benefit. Weight's not too much of an item. Don't got to throw it in your back. Something I just love about putting a backpack on and feeling that weight on my back. I know that sounds weird as can be, but uh, just something I love about that weight on the back and knowing I'm walking around every corner. But this definitely could have something to it, man. Nice and calm. Set up camper if you want in that type of style. I know bike packing is big as well. Um, I like the wilderness a little more, so I'd have to mountain bike pack instead of roads, but it could be something to this. And stay tuned, because soon enough, next month, we're going to do a part of the famous Suwannee River down in Florida and Georgia. A very historical river if you haven't seen it, so check that out. Folks, I guess this is where we get out. Portage style. Right, guys that's how you half portage half butt scoot off of a log screw that off of a tree back at it we've reached a pinnacle part of the trip who's gonna dump their boat first That was freaking cool. Ahead of us, let me correct myself. Two large otters and what looked like a good sized fish. Yeah, that second otter didn't like us sticking around. Yeah, a couple of those have been a little tough. That one took a little energy. It's all right, it's been an adventure for sure. Let's see what's around the next corner. Man, it's so much different than backpacking. If you have paddle packed before, have you done something in this crazy of a river? All right, guys, I gotta keep my eye out. See right there, something dead down in the water all the birds are going to. Is it a boar? It is a boar. That's what I thought, yeah. All right. All the vultures uh, going after a dead boar got hung up in the water, must have drowned. We're getting close to camp, trying to identify something. Hopefully, being camp in the next. 
20 minutes, half hour, and then it is uh, it's coffee time, guys. And just like that, here is camp. We're ready to throw up the hammocks. We got everything in the, uh, the drywall area of uh, the boats. Kick back, relax, get a fire going, and go from there. Day one, pretty darn good. It's coffee time. You don't have to worry about weight on your back. This is what you bring out to eat. So uh, kayak uh, adventures could, could definitely grow on me a lot. You might be unaware, but Barry's kind of a big deal around steaks. I've found that out since moving down here. Kind of a big deal. Uh, this is gonna kick ass. Kind of massage it a little bit and just leave it out and let it get warm about an hour yeah my world in the backpack uh, is always lightweight you know try to get a hundred uh, hundred ounces or sorry a hundred uh, calories per ounce um, not out here got the dry well One dry well in front, you'll see one in back there as well, but it's the full size because this is, I think, what's called a touring kayak. So that whole thing is a dry well to put stuff in. Same in the back there. So we loaded it up and did it right. We're going to set up camp, fill the hammocks up like normal, and we'll check back in with you, but then it's definitely going to be coffee time, folks. So I'll see you in a bit. All right, guys, camp is set up. Went pretty quick. Gonna show you around a little bit, a little bit different today, of course, because there's boats and water beside us. A classic blue on blue with a little orange. Dream Hammock Sparrow. I'm rocking the 40 degree quilts. These are Barry's uh, 40 bottom, 40 top from Eno. Mine are a little warm for this trip and it is gorgeous outside, like gorgeous. A little change for Barry here. The uh, Amok UL. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, the, guys, these are comfortable. It's a flat lay. Uh, even seen people perfectly side sleep and stomach sleep. Um, so he's got a air mattress underneath. It's two layer. Uh, and then a uh, quilt on top. Um, he's gonna be loving that. We got our fire going. I'm about to rip into some coffee time. And we're gonna rock and roll. So officially uh, hitting the night of day one on the uh, Lynch's River here, nice black water in uh, South Carolina. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get after it. Actually, a fun fact, isn't the Lynch's like the longest river in... Un, undammed. Un, un, what is it called? Obstructed, destructed? Oh, okay, okay. So the longest unobstructed river, no dams in all South Carolina. So it's a pretty little cool little spot, man. I mean, the view is great. Uh, the temperature is really nice. Um, so we'll see what we get. But as you know, I, I definitely need that caffeine intake. So we'll see you after a bit. All right, guys, a little bit on the keto kick here. These are fantastic. So whiffs, we've all seen them in the grocery store. 110 calories. Let's see if I can get that to focus there. But nine fat, one carb. It is a phenomenal little snack. Definitely a win. This is what it's like camping at the end of the year. <laughs> it is uh, like 5.30 or something like that, and uh, we're getting pretty dark here, folks. A lot more hammock time. You know you're gonna sleep good tonight. We are past 
solstice, the, uh, what is it, the winter solstice? Is that what it's called? So we're gaining every day, guys. So we're gonna take advantage of it all. Every day is a good day for a fire. You are hard. This is the uh, first time in the cruiser here in the kayak, so we're getting ready to do the Swanee in roughly about a month, actually about three weeks, but close to a month. Go down in Georgia and uh, Florida, historic, beautiful river with a bunch of, uh, it's called the Swanee River, but a really a cool amount of history. You should look it up if you haven't seen it. We're gonna go down there, I think for about eight days. So uh, trying to get used to this larger kayaks, 14 foot. We're out here getting me in the kayak, trying to figure it out. And uh, and hell, good reason to get outdoors. Any, any day is a good reason to get outdoors. But check out the Swanee River if you haven't seen it. If you have been on it, love to hear your thoughts. If you've kayaked it for a day trip, an overnight, if anybody's done a trip on it, love to hear it. We're gonna throw the stakes on because that's how we roll when we're in the kayaks. We can bring some weight and uh, eat by the moonlight, I guess, because it gets dark early. Early. <laughs> early. <laughs> Much love, Suge. Much love. Oh, yeah, man. So we're going to hit back, relax, probably have coffee number two, hard to say. Get into some steak action. And, uh, yeah, just chill. But let me know if you are familiar with the Swanee. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Um, it's going to be the four of us. And so we're bringing the wives. Hot Buns will be out with us. And possibly in the same year here, later in 2022, I think Barry and I are gonna do the entire Swanee. I say this by memory, so you might wanna fact check behind me, but I think it is about 300 miles. Barry, you got some info on that? 214, 242. 240-ish, uh, roughly. Um, we'll go from Georgia. Uh, I think it's called Duluth, crazy enough, I'm from Minnesota, but it's called Duluth, Georgia, and it goes all the way down to the coast. So we're gonna get a little taste of it here in a few weeks. Uh, we'll through paddle it after that, and we'll have the Foothills Trail coming up as well. But let me show you steak time here. It's pretty amazing. Can you hear that noise, America? That is how you cook out. In the middle of nowhere, itty bitty little, little river, easy for me to say, in South Carolina. That's what it's all about. That is amazing. Oh, well, it's coffee time. Looks like I left the oatmeal at home, so what you gonna do? Have some coffee, keto bars, relax, enjoy the view, and then uh, tear down camp for a little bit. But for now, let's enjoy the fire. Just like that, folks, we are off. We say good night to First Night's Camp. Awesome little spot or earmarked for future use. Nice, flat, little elevated, so you're up from any of the, the mud and mess. And uh, we will hit the water. Nice, calm morning, man. Hear the birds in the background? Some ducks, probably. Pretty good night. I think, uh, I think it's, it's uh, moist out here in South Carolina, but uh, I think the lows were in the high 50s. All right. Well, this could be an interesting one. Got a little channel right, but definitely got a tree down on both sides. Um, so pretty easy on the gear. Extremely comfortable sleep. Had the uh, no tarp on the hammock, so got to stare at the sky and the stars were fantastic. Didn't go as bad as I thought. Looking forward to another day on the water. It's a bit chilly this morning, much to my surprise. I think it's just it's high dew point and humidity, so even though it's not too warm, uh, there's a lot of moisture in the air. Some type of little makeshift water house here. Let's see, can you see that spinning wheel up there?
cool yet creepy little area. Most of this land out here is swamp land. There's just not a lot of high elevation. Everything gets underwater. So you don't see a lot of homes out here. This is really the only nice, beautiful home that's out here, but you can see how much of a high land that it's on. I mean, it's way up there. So we got a good bank and protection away from the high waters. A little resupply there with hot buns. Brought me some electrolytes. Back at it. See the highway? I think that's Highway 15 below there. That uh, came on, dropped some awesome goodies, and we are back at it. Stay hydrated, people. Electrolytes are our friends. Oh, what a good time. It's supposed to be uh, sunny and beautiful today. Mid-70s. Um, you can see the sky. Very cloudy. We just got sprinkled on. That was a bit of a surprise. Not real sure where that came from. It's a little chilly on the water. Um, but we'll see. That sun can peek out. Pretty heavy clouds. You definitely see the appeal of throwing all the gear in the kayak, though. It's been nice. It's awesome. A couple creepy homes on the river, just gonna say. I'm sure you check them out there. Saw some good spots and uh, not too much. The water's about five feet right now, so it's, it's definitely low. So, uh, Hopefully not too much obstacles for the rest of today till we get down. And that was a nice warm wind, so that was fantastic. Let's see what's wrong with John. <sighs> so much for no more obstacles. What you just miss is me flipping my boat and go for a swim in the muddy water. Gotta love it. Let me get you. Get my boat up and uh, empty it out. Oh, we got water we flipped should have brought the pump huh right there's good she can you can dump it out right there oh you're wet oh i flipped yeah oh damn Yeah, and I got my sponge once you get the... I can't really see, so you'll have to let me yeah, know. Yeah, just keep going. Nothing's going to come out with water or anything, is there? Nope, everything's good. Everything's just fine. You could probably sponge the rest out if you wanted to. It's designed for it to stay in the back when crazy happens. Foot down and nothing was there. Oh yeah. And everything went. I'm telling you guys, this water is cold too. I know John's cold. There we go. Yeah, it'll wake you up, guys. That's for sure. Yeah. I thought about bringing the because we have a pump. Just drying it out for you, ain't it? Here you go. This is a, another way of doing it. Alright. Alright. Well, that was fun. Don't adjust your cameras. The blue didn't change, I just took a dive in the water. I was uh, going around that portage and uh, could see the dirt below me. So I stepped out to start portaging, take the, uh, the boat out of the water, except the water was deeper than I thought. Just a stupid move. Um, so my leg went all the way down um, with no land below. Um, 
and then uh, yeah I took the boat with me so we went for a little swim that water is cold so I got all quick dry hiking gear on so hopefully that takes care of that um, not a ton of warm weather stuff with me because it is in the 70s in South Carolina uh, in December uh, we'll paddle it out hopefully uh, the quick dry will hit I'll warm back up and we'll be good but you know hey <laughs> gotta laugh at yourself right right beside my foot if I would have uh, went two feet forward put my foot down uh, the dirt was right there it would have been uh, less than knee high but I missed the ledge we went for a swim folks all right well, I'm gonna try to warm up get back at it and uh, we'll let you go it's like my uh, blue skies might be going away but that was definitely nice that helped me dry it out quite a bit too bad. You know, the obstacles, I mean, we can fly down this river in the open spots and you just have to be real careful around there. So we're slowing down, taking our time around those particular spots. But we should be able to hit our, I think the end by maybe 4.30 or 5. Um, sunset is 5.30. We definitely, last night had about 45 minutes of decent uh, light after sunset. So we should be good, good to go. We got here guys we got a few different paths i think through here that aren't too bad we can easily go underneath to the right so we're gonna have a large branch here i'm gonna have to go over nothing too bad there once again we're clear well i think i survived my uh my little swimming episode there we're gonna take a little break a little bit of blue skies not as much as I'd like but the Sun is showing a little promise I'm just gonna kind of beach it right here for a bit nice big open beach you can see the boats I'm gonna take some water in I'm gonna get some uh, get some get some calories and make my uh, see if we figure out what the heck the rest of the day is gonna look like but, oh, it's beautiful out today just you know maybe not the best day to go for a dip food time folks sun has come out to say hello man just saw two deer don't know if I got it on camera off the check but two deer on my right hand side running in the forest side and then four deer on my left hand side got some ducks out playing in the water one right in front of me there if that's not too far away there's definitely something to be said to uh, to being on the water We're out of the boats. You can see we got some blue sky, so Mother Nature and the sun helped me out. Columbia Quick Dry did its part. No more cold, no more slight shivering. Um, the bottoms, there's just no sun. I was in a kayak all day, but it's quick dry. Uh, so we're gonna get a fire going and I'll dry that out so we're solid. So we're gonna be out for day number two. Change of plans, I think, number three. Um, but you know, whatever happens, happens. So we're gonna have a little bit longer today we're gonna to try to get camp set up and a fire going pretty quick uh, but yeah man nothing like taking a little swim and recovering saw a bunch of deer um, and literally hundreds of turtles on our way out here it's pretty awesome uh, just want to let you know we're staying here I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get set up get some things done and I'll bring you back for coffee time because you know it's gonna be coffee time check out that Sun behind us yeah thank you mother nature Barry's brought along some fat lighter, which worked fantastic last night. We soaked it pretty good in the uh, in the canoe today. We'll see. We got a couple tricks. Uh, see if we can get this guy going. I see some smoke. You'll see. Check this out. This looks amazing. This is a tub of butter and Frank's Red Hot. Yes, don't adjust your volume. Butter and Frank's Red Hot. Come on. I know you're feeling those wings. Hot damn. 
Yeah. Probably haven't mentioned on the channel too much, but I love Franks. So this is this is gonna be a, a special time right here. Just waiting for those colds to kick in or get at it. Coffee time might be after dark, but it's all good. That's what we're looking at. Chicken dinner has begun. I think roughly 25 minutes on the grill. Sound about right. We got our butter and mix. Uh, the beloved Franks warming up over there. We'll see how this goes. There we go. I'll stick there. Get some coals going. Is it just me or does that look phenomenal? Got my little makeshift wet wipe. Don't need to know more about it. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited for this. First time having uh, hot wings out in the back country. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna like this. And this has been one hell of a culinary trip right here. <laughs> What's up guys, that dinner was fantastic. We're sitting beside a hell of a nice fire winding down, checking out Orion, the stars coming over us. I'm dry, safe, healthy, not too much of an issue when the sun comes out and you're in 70 degrees in South Carolina, but damn, that water is cold. So all is good, that ends good, one hell of a, a good night out. So we'll do uh, the two nights, and in the morning, head back to be picked up. Another amazing trip out in the wilds. Really looking forward to doing the Swanee River. Looking forward to have some videos out on that for you. And uh, the Foothills Trail. Get some backpack time again. But we're going to chill here for a little bit. Had my coffee. Coffee time already. Didn't include you. I'm sorry. Uh, we're going to kick back and relax. So uh, we will uh, talk to you in the morning. Have a good night. Hope you got a coffee cup. Let's try that again. Have a good night. And hopefully you have a cup of coffee in your hand. Good night, guys. Good morning on day three, guys. That was a good night's sleep. Oof, Something to sleeping out in the swamp. I'm not sure what it is. Well, I got my shoes back on. They're nice and dry from the fire last night. So I'm pretty much 0% a drowned rat anymore. So, you know, it's going to happen. We are uh, very starting the fire here. We're going to throw some coffee on, relax kick back on our last morning and then uh, paddle out to be picked up here. Hear those birds in the background? I love that stuff. coffee kick back sit by the fire here for a second and then we'll be packing up and we'll see you back on the water we're we'll gonna get packed up here guys gonna be sorry to see the swamp go um, the lynches has been good even though I went for a swim and got into the unbelievably cold water it's been nice got the Sun there behind me we're gonna 
gonna start taking down. And we're gonna hit the water. But for our first experience, I'll definitely be out uh, paddle packing again. I'm gonna have to verify that's what it's called. Uh, definitely made a good time. Yeah. Let's get back on the water and uh, get into some cheeseburger time here after a little bit. I think we got three to four hours worth of paddling left today. So let's get after it. takeout guys is not too far from here so this crazy little venture is quickly coming to an end gonna have some cheeseburger time pretty soon actually I guess officially I'm thinking it's gonna be a Philly steak time and uh, get me a cold drink celebrate my first official paddle packing to the end of the adventure. Let's get on board, get picked up, get some food, have some fun. 